We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up a lot of friends, fill up the car to live best because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are on part five of the spring cleaning series. So today's video is actually going to wrap up the upstairs of the spring cleaning series, which I'm absolutely delighted about. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on cleaning the bathroom and I'm going to go through step by step how I actually clean the bathroom. So this is the main bathroom in the house. It is the only room in the house that actually has a bath so it can be properly classified as a bathroom. So one thing I find is bathroom is such a big piece of kind of furniture, if you will, in the house. And they are, they gather a lot of dust. They're very large and they can be quite hard to clean, obviously because they're low down the way they're shaped also makes it quite difficult to clean. So I'm gonna run through a few hints and tips that I use while cleaning the bath that I hope you guys will find helpful. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you here today and I wanna thank you for choosing my video to get you motivated. On this channel, we do like decluttering, home decor, cleaning, organizing, tidying motivation. If you haven't and you'd be interested in joining the community, please hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell and be notified every time a video goes live on my channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm absolutely delighted to have you here again. I hope you find this video satisfying. I hope you find it motivating. If you do, please hit the thumbs up button. Let's me know that you guys enjoy the content that I'm making. And without further ado, let's get started. So I think the best thing to do when you're cleaning a bathroom is to apply any of your treatments that are gonna take a couple of minutes first. So I just applied that yellow toilet cleaner there so that that can get started working um, on the toilet while I'm getting other stuff done. So the next thing I do then is just apply this mousse. And I gotta say guys, this is a great tip for when you're cleaning the bath is to use these foaming cleaners or the mousses because they do give you a lot of coverage with not a lot of product. Now you'll see here I'm spraying for an awful long time. That is also because this can of foam was running out and I wanted to get it used up so I just kept going until there was absolutely nothing left. Now I did leave it for a while. The footage here of the toilet cleaner being applied and the bath foam were done before I started the bathroom in the previous video. So they did probably get 30 to 40 minutes left there to work. Um, and that just, to be honest guys, that breaks down all the soap scum. If you've got any buildup of stuff like lime scale, if you're using the correct cleaner and anything like that, what that does is it allows the cleaner to actually start breaking down all the gunk and the grime and the dirt and get it moving and get it lifted off the surface. So when you come back to rinse it or to wipe it down, it's much, much easier to get off. Now that foam cleaner I was using there is a really good cleaner. All it requires is rinse and you don't need to scrub anything down. Uh, but you will notice here now I'm just using the antibacterial wipes just to get any of the edges that the foam missed or that I wasn't able to get to. Um, or I just didn't feel like the foam worked on very well. But to be honest, the foam covered nearly everything and it was it worked really well. But again, as mentioned in previous videos, it had a very strong chemical smell. Now here's just what I'm doing in previous bathrooms is I'm just cleaning the window. So as you can see here, I didn't do this in the best of orders. So when I got into the bathroom, what I should have done was started with the shelves and the window. As I'm always saying to you guys, always work from the top to the bottom and work your way down. Because if you start down the bottom and then move up top, all you're going to do is knock all the dirt down. What happened was when I came into this bathroom, the cleaner had been sitting there for a long time, as I've previously mentioned, and I didn't want it to dry out. I thought it was starting to dry out in parts, which is why I started with the bath. And I did have to go over certain areas around the edges again with the wipes and with the cloth um, because some of the dust did come down off the window and the shelf. But aside from that, aside from the fact that the cleaner was starting to dry, I wouldn't have done that. Now, usually what I would do is I would go in, I would spray the foam and then I'd get working on everything else. But just with the fact that I was doing so much uh, on this particular day, I worked in the way that worked most efficiently for me. But what I always say, guys, is start with what you can see first. So start on the window, start on your ceiling, start on the outside of stuff. Get your treatments and your cleaners in place, like your foams, your sprays, etc. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting those. I did those shelves, obviously, as you saw previously, and everything that's going on the shelf, as you can see, I've just taken off the top of this shelf of the bathroom cabinet. Now, the bathroom cabinet, as you can see, is quite dirty. 
because I'm going to be honest guys it's not an area I clean very often because you know I can't see it and I do forget about it but today I wanted to give it a really thorough clean as we are spring cleaning and we're getting all that dirt that we don't deal with for the rest of the year we're dealing with it today and we're dealing with it now so I just really you know as you can see there I have quite a few products and they're kind of they get moved around but I really just wanted to tidy them up and as I've mentioned um in previous video in on the channel in the last couple of weeks is try to put multiples or whatever into storage it keeps the room much cleaner much tidier and much more organized looking but another thing i did mention in my bathroom or my bedroom overhaul should i say is that i'm trying really hard to work on getting through a lot of the products that i have because i was literally just hoarding cosmetics so you will see in some areas um of the house that there are multiples like there's two dry shampoos there because the bottles are nearly gone um, just here I'm using my e-cloths um, the window cleaning kit and the polishing cloth you can see there guys like I literally just use water on that cleaning cloth and it's pristine and then here is just cleaning the heated towel rail again this is an item I really should have started off with but again I was cleaning the bath first and again it's an area I forget about like I had done all the rest of that bathroom and as I looked in the mirror you can see here I'm shooting it through the mirror here just because I wanted to give you guys an idea of what I can see. So when I looked in my lovely clean mirror, I could see these dirty, black, grimy lines all over the heated towel rail. Um, you'll see the dirt there. The wipe is absolutely filthy. Like, guys, I literally cannot explain how much dust came off this. And it was frustrating again because I had to go back then after this. This all fell onto the top of the bath. So I had to go back over the bath and clean again, which is why I always say, guys, start from the top and work your way down. I'm really glad that I got this tail rail done because it's one I just don't do very often and it's the thing I really need to keep on top of especially with bathrooms one tip I'll give you is keep on top of the dusting if you're in the bathroom and you're in the shower you're in the bath you're in the toilet you're even just in washing your hands if you see an area like the top of your bath the top of the cistern or you know the back of your sink or whatever I would highly recommend giving that area a wipe down you're gonna get a lot of dust build up in bathrooms especially and the thing with bathrooms as well is obviously with showers, baths, etc. You're going to be using a lot of steam. And that steam is going to make the dust wet. And that combined with all of the oils and scum and stuff that's in the products is going to get into the air. Your scope, soap scum and all that kind of stuff. And it's going to make it much, much harder for you to remove. So I would always recommend keeping a duster or a cloth or a wipe or whatever you use to clean your bathroom on hand in the bathroom. So if you see stuff like that, you can deal with it straight away. I would always recommend doing it at least weekly to clean the bathroom and keep on top of it. Just that glass there has gone into the dishwasher. It's been in the bathroom for a while. And then the toothbrush there, that little pink one, is actually one I use for cleaning. I don't use it for cleaning my teeth. I use it for actually getting into all the little nooks and crannies in the bathroom, of which there are a lot, especially around the taps, in the drains, all that kind of thing. Toothbrushes are really good for getting into that and into the grout and stuff like that or any little gaps you have. It's really, really good for that around edges and stuff. And especially with bathrooms, you get a lot of edges because you do have so much um you have so many items like the sink the toilet so there's kind of all those little niggledy bits around the edge of them that can be hard to reach and hard to get into but yeah as you can see here um i'm using wipes and stuff like that they really are good for covering a lot of stuff the only problem is they're not very sustainable which i really don't like so i am as i've mentioned in previous videos just trying to use up the stock we have you may notice there to the left of the sink that there's actually two bins what I've implemented in this bathroom is a standard refuse like garbage bin on the left and the other one there is recycling because no one wants to go through or have to go through a bathroom bin guys. Um, so to avoid that needing to happen here, um, I've split up the bins. You'll see here now there's a lot of stuff in this drain. Like just a lot of that kind of black stuff there is hugely build up of soap and dirt and dust and that's what I was talking about a minute ago is that build up of stuff and it can be very hard to get off. So I really recommend keeping on top of these things and keeping your wipes or your cloths or whatever in the bathroom. I would recommend deep cleaning or at least giving a good clean to your bathroom at least once a week to get that dust under control. Our bath gets very dusty because no one uses it. Uh, I don't use it because it's too short for me to be honest and I just can't enjoy a bath in such a small bath. So with that we do get a lot of dust build up and it doesn't get cleaned very regularly and that's something that I'm going to be working on this year is cleaning that a lot more. Hey guys, so I'm just going to tidy up this thing here. Um, 
I sprayed this down with the same mousse I used um, in the other bathroom and I rinsed it down. But unfortunately, I thought the camera was recording and it wasn't. So I can't really show you that again because I've already done it. Um, you can see in the grout in this bathroom and the other bathroom, they both need to be treated for like, um, what you call it, uh, mildew and stuff. Um, because like this is in the grout, it's not just on the tiles, it's actually in the grout. Um, and I do give this good scrub, but unfortunately not. Um, and then I'm gonna have a shower when I'm done. Don't know if you can see here, these doors are cleaned. I'll show you that much. Oh, sorry guys, I have a tripod in here with me. But you can see there that those doors are clean. And I can see a couple of spots there that I missed. Um, anyway, I'll walk down with the cloth in a minute. But yeah, this bathroom, this shower has been cleaned. It's the same as the other showers, that's why I'm not going to film it again, there's no point. But <clears throat> yeah, I did clean it, I just forgot to hit the record button. I thought I'd started the recording, but I had already started and then I stopped. Anyway, it's a long story. <laughs> Sorry, that long story, but you know what I mean. You got it. Anyway, I'm just going to tidy up these little few bits here, get this more organised, and then I'm going to move on to the toilet. Check in with you guys in a minute. So there is quite a few items here because they're all kind of falling all over the place. It looks very untidy and I'm just quickly going through them to get that tidied up and kind of organised because it really does make a big difference to the whole shower area when all your products are tidy and organised. I know that doesn't look as tidy as I would like it, but as I mentioned in an earlier decluttering video, um, I have about this much of this bottle left. You can see I just have to finish that off. There's a little drop there at the bottom. And I have that much of that one left. So I'm just trying to work through them at the moment. Um, that's a six foliator as well, so I don't use that every day. Um, but yeah, any doubles you see that there's a face mask, um, hair mask, exfoliator, shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste. So yeah, um, that's why there's so many. Because usually in here I have like maybe four bottles when I'm trying to work through this hair mask and exfoliator before they go off because I've had them about a year or two so um, I only opened them this year but I want to get through them anyway. I'm sorry that I didn't film this guys. Um, I'm actually really annoyed because I spent ages on it. Um, but yeah, it looked really, it looked good, it looked good. Um, and obviously now what I've noticed is as I've dried down, like this here is in the grout, I've put the mousse on that left and on it for um, it was on for, I'd say, about an hour, hour and a half when I was doing the other bathroom. One of the first things I did was come in here and spray the mousse on, in here and on the bath and then the mousse in there to let it work and it's done really nothing, so. Um, if you're wondering why it looks the same, that's why. So at least I know the shower now is disinfected, it's cleaned, the soap's gone. As you can see here, I don't know if you can hear it, but these tiles are just, they're so much smoother and cleaner. Um, and they feel much cleaner, but anyway, yeah. Annoying, but you know, that's what happens sometimes. So I'm gonna move on to the to the toilet anyway. So as you guys saw earlier in the video, I already put the yellow cleaner in this toilet. So if you do see in the bowl later, it looks a bit weird, but it is just the cleaner. Do not be alarmed. Well, yeah, I always start here with the toilet. I start up around the cistern area because generally the cistern is gonna be the cleanest area of your toilet. Uh, the water coming into it is fresh, clean water. So it is generally clean. But what I always do is I clean that whole cistern area and then I will wipe the handle with a fresh clean wipe just to be to be sure to be sure so obviously on the thing on this toilet here there's a lot of dust and stuff you can see me especially around the back here and the bowl this bathroom especially around the toilet and stuff like that like we've been cleaning the hand basin and you know giving the toilet a bleach and a scrub out but not really properly cleaning it so there was a huge buildup of dust around the bottom of this bowl and everything like that so you can see me scrubbing now, I am the only person to use this bathroom, but I gave the floor a clean just in case, because as I've mentioned in several videos, if you've men in the house, try and use an antibacterial around the floor, because, you know, accidents do happen. But yeah, you can just see me here giving a really, really good clean down to the seat and stuff like that, uh, because as well as if you are someone who closes the toilet seat when you are flushing it, all that is splashing up onto the lid there. So you don't want to be sitting with your clothing back against that. Um, but yeah, you can just see me there slightly lifting the toilet seat just to get a bit of the dust and stuff out there and just giving it a really good clean. Now, this brush here I'm using is a great brush. 
what happened was you'll see the hair there and stuff that was on the side of the shower and I threw it down the toilet earlier but I forgot to clean it and then I put the cleaner and I wanted to just flush all the cleaner away so I just threw it in the bin there but it's nothing like weird or it wasn't all over the brush or anything but yeah just giving the bathroom here a really good clean you can see there the cleaner starting to foam as I'm giving it a scrub and this brush is quite old which is why it looks a little bit rusty on the inside and it is something I would like to replace soon now here I am in the final downstairs bathroom and I'm just taking that soap out there because it's a bar and it's going to create soap scum and I cannot uh, again explain like the upstairs bathroom how much soap scum was in this basin but anyway I think I have covered pretty much everything we've done mirrors we've done toilets we've done sinks showers baths um already and I think I've given you guys the best tips I can basically pre-treat where you can let the cleaners do the work rather than you and make sure to clean around everything really thoroughly and use antibacterial as much as you can in toilets and keep on top of it so i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of the video with a bit of music and i hope you guys are having a great day and i hope you find this video motivating and satisfying and i hope you got some good tips along the way here's what i like Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes Laughing with my friends under the sky Following our hearts at them we take a ride Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly Fly away That's the only way to get that high forgot this so I'm just um, gonna do this really quick I am, I'm not gonna set up the tripod or anything just because it's only one mirror so it's actually good because you can see this then how good these cloths were like literally as I'm using them and you can see like so good oh that's a bit damp give me a second guys sorry I've literally used this sandwich, much, it's gotten a little bit of water from the taps and stuff. But like, if you look at that now, there is not a streak. Cool, so that's last bathroom done. 
When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling when you tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. We're like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again. Tried much harder, now all we have are scars. You said we'd get so high. That is the end of today's video, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it satisfying, motivating, and I hope you picked up a few tips along the way. This is also one of the first videos where we're doing multiple uploads a week. So I would love to know in the comments down below if you guys are enjoying this format of more regular uploads with a kind of slightly shorter video. I'd love to know your opinions and your thoughts because at the end of the day, it's you guys that make this channel possible for me. The next video coming up on the channel will be the next part of the spring cleaning series and we will finally be moving downstairs to get the rest of this house cleaned and ship shape for spring. So I really hope you guys will come back and join us for that. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a like. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will talk to y'all soon. Okay, love y'all. Bye.